Okay, I'm going to show you how I arrived at my answer. So I'm going to select this line, and I'm actually going to use the Python uh, IDE to, to figure out kind of the structure of this document. Here we are in the IDE. I'm going to paste in that first line. So I paste it in that first line. It's in a variable called Reddit front. We can go ahead and run length on it. We see it's 26,000 characters. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is import JSON, and then I'm going to convert this, this document into JSON using the loads function in the JSONs module. So now I've got this big dictionary. J, and it's got all this stuff in it. Actually, that wasn't very useful, just printed everything. So let's look at j.keys. We can see there are two keys here, kind and data. Data is almost certainly the one we want. Let's look at that. Ah, another bunch of stuff. Let's look at the keys on this. This has just four keys, after, before, children, and mod hash. Children is gonna be the one we want. The other ones are just simple little variables. So let's look at children. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Let's look at the keys of this. It's a list, so it's probably a list of links, which is kind of what we were expecting. Let's look at one of these. Okay, again, a bunch of crap. Let's look at the keys for the first element in the links or in this children's list. We can see that it has kind and data. So let's look at the data for this guy. Ah, we're starting to get a little bit closer. Let's see what uh, the keys are for this guy. Aha, perfect. And we can see that ups is actually in this. So if I were to call ups, we can see that it is the integer of the number of ups on this link. So that's how I found this. So looking at our total JSON document, we're gonna look at data, we're gonna look at children. And then for each of the children, we're going to sum up the ups. And if I were to change this 0 to a 1 to find the second element in the list, we can see that we get another variable. I'm going to take this piece of code with me into the IDE, and we're going to write our function to add up all of the ups. OK, here we are in the IDE. And what we want to do is we want to sum up all of the ups. So I can say sum, and I'm going to say C data ups for C in data children. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm iterating over the list data children, which we know is a list. For C and each element in that list, I'm going to look up data ups on that object C. And then we're going to sum it up using the Python built-in function sum. And I'm just going to return that. Let's give that a run. Ah, J is not defined. That means I didn't load the actual string of the Reddit front page in JSON into a JSON object. So let's do that. Let's uh, run that again. Here we go. Now we see our answer, 103,978. Simple enough. Um, what I wanted you to accomplish there was just learn how to you know, load this into JSON and then manipulate the data structure a little bit. And you can see it's just like manipulating any Python data structure because JSON maps very cleanly to what we already have been working with in Python, which is dictionaries and lists and integers and floats and that sort of thing. So pretty handy there. You are now a JSON expert.